Hey guys, uh, back again now for another uh, range of baits. Again, we're going to get baited up with just different bits and pieces just to show you a few at a time rather than going through all videos separately. And uh, so this one is, we're going to start off with our B940M Camazans, match hooks, very sharp, uh, light and pliable as well, so very handy. The Yuki bait scissors, perfect for little fine baits, little serrated edge and that is handy. And these are the Yuki bait tools. Uh, see them, there's a, probably a few more coming up with them now. There's a, a very flexible one for the fine baits and a, a stiffer one for the heavier baits. So we'll, we'll use both of those now just to show you what I mean. So we'll start off with the black wrap and mackerel. Now, I like to put it just straight through, like the lugworm again. Some guys like to weave it in and out, but this is the way I like to do it because I think it keeps a uh, gives a lot of, of scent in it, it doesn't just give it out straight away. So we're going to use the lighter of the bait needles or the um, baiting up tools and again the Inova bait binder. So what we'll do is just sit it up on it and just a couple of light ones just to get it on and once it's on you can give it a bit more tension. So that's the first part. What I do then is just put this into my hand. You've got your slice of mackerel already done. I just like to give it a little nick. No. What I'll do this time is I'll put it belly up, belly down, sorry, so that you can see what I'm doing here. No. Maybe holding it wasn't the best idea. Typically. So now after that messing around there, get it back on and we'll give it a, a few more wraps just to tighten it up. Now what I like to do at the end is to go down below the hook just to stop it from sliding away back up the trace. Now, so we've got it on there, take off the extra bit of elastic, slide that off. What I do then is just ensure that your elastic isn't pinning down your hook point. So, there we have it. A little black wrap and mackerel wrap. You can tidy this up if you want to uh, make it look nicer for the old Facebook posts. There you go. Black wrap and mackerel, ready to go. Slide down your pop-up as well if you're using them. And that'll do a good job for you. So, next up we're going to do sand deal and mackerel. Another wrap. So, take our sand deal again. Now these are a bit too big for the hook that I want to be using. So, I'm going to cut them down a bit. And, uh, these ones are late summer eels, so they have plenty of uh, raw and juice in them. So you might see a bit of the belly coming out, but like I said, I've defrosted them for the for the video, so that's what that's coming about. So when the belly's soft, I like to go through the side rather than through the belly, because you can see it there. I'm after bursting it already, but we're doing a a wrap, so it's not really that important. Now this time we're going to put the two side by side together and use the heavier Yuki baiting tool. So again, dry off the hands of it, trap the elastic in one hand, back on there lads. And the more you do this, the faster you'll become at it. So if it takes a few goes the first time to get it, don't worry about it. it happens to the best of us and it won't always be 100% perfect. And like one guy said one time, I don't think the fish are going around with chopsticks trying to figure out uh, which bait to eat. So, don't get too caught up in it. So, there you go. Nice and fast. Very simple. Nice and juicy as well. Hook point protruding. I'll slide that up again. And that's the bait that's going to be going out. Not too bad at all, if I do say so myself. 
Now for the last one, we're going to do something a little bit different, which I don't often see. So we're going to take the old bluey, I'm going to trim it down. stuck to my hand at all so like I said this bluey is old now so it is very fragile so what we're going to do next is take our knife and just take the skin off or do you know what the knife is a bit unnecessary because it is old so we'll just pull off the majority of the skin try it away for the birds so we have this meat section left now, this is where the tool comes into its own because that's a very fine bait, very soft and not ideal for this. So we're gonna set it up like we normally would. Put it through and you've gotta be really gentle with this now until you got it onto the, uh, onto the baiting tool. So, set it up like normal. But if I go to, to bind this now, it's just gonna fly everywhere. So like I said, this is where these boys come into their own. Get it onto the tool again. Elastic. And you can afford to give this plenty of elastic because like I said, it is just flakes of fish now and it will break up. So, you're even helping it to disperse by giving it a bit of elastic. But there we go, so that's just flesh and a tiny bit of the skin left on, but it's not actually the outer skin, but that little silver might do us a job. So there you go. Like I said, if any of these you want to see them again or in more detail, let us know and uh, I'll get them done for you. Now, time for a bit of fishing. <laughs> 